Hi guys, this is Charles. I'm one of the surgeons at South Pause. Today we're removing a soft tissue sarcoma, a presumptive soft tissue sarcoma off the chest wall of a dog. Um, this is um, a Labrador Staffordshire Terrier cross that's developed this mass over the past several months um, that's grown progressively. It seems to be fluid filled. Um, and non-diagnostic on cytology, but um, there, it, it's multilobular, so it's, there's some areas that are quite firm in the middle of it, so I'm fairly confident that we're dealing with a soft tissue sarcoma. So on notification so that you know when we are live streaming again. Um, we do have the live chat running as well. I think that that's just fat right there. And so you can see how Sarah's providing counter tension on the skin. That really, really helps divide the tissue planes. Come around the other side now. All right, so we've circumscribed the tumor. Now we're just gonna go straight down through the fat, down to the level of the latissimus dorsi muscle. So that's latissimus dorsi right there. Bit of a cancer week for me this week. Not every week? Uh, some weeks more than others. So I'm just taking my Tismus door side back. that because I'm lazy good old lazy ligature and come around the other side
cutting through the latissimus on the other side now. Gets quite thin back here caudally. So that's pretty much it there for the removal. So that's latissimus dorsi there deep. Get some epivacane, please. We'll just inject the muscle with an epivacane and then we just see how we're going to close this thing. We may end up having to do a flank fold or a um, let Z plasty in order to reduce the tension. Both sides, yeah. Generally, I'll do both sides. Loveland, Colorado. Hi, Deb from Loveland. Um, hi from Delhi, India, from Mexico. Super impressed with this previous left forelimb pre-op rotating CT scan for mast cell tumor. Soft tissue sarcoma didn't receive the same love. It did have a CT scan, um, but I didn't have time to set it up so that you could see it um, on the same screen. It wasn't very exciting. So just injecting the pivocaine into the muscle. And then the skin. Some OPDS, please. And if I could get a bigger needle driver. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Hello from Serbia. Hi, Serbia. So we're just waiting for a bigger needle driver because I don't want to break my... Um, can you also ask for some towel clamps? So skin is viscoelastic, which means that the tension that you get is dependent upon the rate of tension that you put on it. And so we are um, going to put some pretension on it in hopes of um, relaxing that skin a little bit. So I'm just going to get some towel clamps waiting for those to come. Is that good? Yeah. Thank you. Just leave that for a second. Start placing some sutures in here. I think that the given the tension that this is under, the sub-Q fat would just tear anyway. So I'm just going to do an intradermal suture pattern tacked down to the underlying tissue. And I'm not going to put a drain in this. It's not necessary. Uh, it's under too much tension. The question internally about whether I would attempt to close the latissimus dorsi, and I had a look at it and pulled on it a little bit, and it was under too much tension for me to consider closing it.
The suture went through the skin a little bit, so while it doesn't matter, it doesn't look great. Trying to keep going with that. So Sarah is going to keep doing that intradermal closure, and I'm going to do my Z plasty. So the first one, I'll just burn off this. So I can't just burn, cut off this little papilloma. Mm -hmm. That out of the way. Now I'm going to make my Z. Where's the top of my incision up here and down here? So I'm going to go right down the middle. And the horizontal portion, the middle portion of your Z should be lined up along the lines of tension, like that. Can I get in another electric artery, please? Yes. Thank you. So I'm doing an intradermal mattress suture. Um, And a bolster bandage. I'm not sure what a bolster bandage is. Do you know what it is? No. Somebody's mentioned a bolster bandage. I'm interested to hear what that is. So our, our horizontal portion goes parallel to lines of tension, usually perpendicular to the incision. And then we make two more incisions like this, so it looks like a Z. Or a Z in America. Okay. And then we completely release both limbs like this, and then we pull them down opposite like that. So really relieve a lot of tension there. Can I get some 2 PDS, please? Yeah. Yes, please. And um, uh, so, as far as how much tension is too much for primary closure, it really is just kind of a um, an educated guess. Um, I don't know that there's so you know you can say that so many newtons are too much or whatever. It just feels like when it's under you know when it's under quite a bit of tension, I just feel like based on experience that it's going to dehiss. Yeah. Cut, please, Michael.
You can see how much more room we created with the length of that horizontal portion, which initially was the same length as the two limbs, and now it's significantly longer, and that just is an indication of how much more tissue we've created here. So now we'll do the same thing on the other side. So a horizontal portion of the Z perpendicular to decision, incision parallel to the lines of tension. Then we make two limbs like this, like this. Then just make sure that we release both limbs completely like that and like that. And then we'll pull one like that. And so that's our second little Z plasty. All right, we'll get Jeff over here to help with the closure. So just put a little buried intradermal suture at the point on each point to point. And then we're just going to do uh, inter uh, interrupted, um, inverted, almost like a mattress cruciate suture. That's what Sarah is doing there. And we'll see how it looks when we're finished with that. And that Yes. Hey. Uh, yeah, it skin's great. Yep. Just some uh, nylon skin sutures. I'm, I'm happy with nylon. And you can pull that quite tight, um, Jeff. Yep. Michael. Another question. So long sutures deeper to your sub Q layer than close routinely, followed by rolled gauze over the incision and tie the long strands on top of the lap sponges, provides added tension and absorbs mild discharge. Interesting. I've seen those. I've seen Bryden Stanley do those before. I haven't done them before. All right, so I'm going to leave these guys to it. So basically the rest is just intradermal closure um, and some skin sutures in the middle of the incision. So um, quick and dirty, um, H-plasty is a consideration. Um, I gen Look, that, that probably would have worked as well, just giving us a little bit of mobility. I really like the Z, um, but um, yeah, the H works well as well. So... Anyway, thank you very much for watching and we will see you again soon.